it is me and my tea. And it is time once again, and very happily for another woohoo Owl Crate unboxing. This is the February 2021 Magic Unleashed box. Yes, technically it is now March. Unfortunately, they were a little late shipping, but I am super excited to be opening it today. So let's get into it, shall we? With, of course, trusty pocket knife. So if you are unfamiliar with Owl Crate, it is a really fun YA monthly subscription box, and in it will be a book and other YA items, and it is super fun, and I really enjoy it. So sneak peeks, here it is. So let us see what we have. First off, as River Song would say, spoilers. We have our spoiler uncard for our Magic Unleashed box. So let's see. First thing, they have returned. Yes, the paper wormies have returned. And it will be a mess to clean up later, but they are so fun. So first thing I see on top is, ooh, from the Soap Librarian and is Owl Crate exclusive bath salts. Very cool. Let's see what it smells like. Ooh, it smells really good. If you've um, ever walked into Anthropology, it kind of smells like that. It has a really nice citrusy floral scent, which is quite, quite nice. And I do like, so good job for item number one. Up next, ooh, we have an enamel item and it is a keychain and it is inspired by the Daughters of Smoke and Bone. And it is very, very nicely detailed. If I can, let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. So it says the Poison Kitchen and it is very nice and heavy. Definitely a very cool keychain. Cannot wait to use that. Up next, ooh, perfect for my very long locks. We have a hairbrush. I have never seen a hairbrush be included in a subscription box. That is pretty cool and very unique. And oh, don't you just love the star bags? I love that detail. So here we have a very unique hairbrush. Let's see if it works. Oh yes, it definitely works. Very useful. Up next, ooh, we have a lovely little pouch. Oh, wow. This is such a incredibly detailed pouch. I love it. It feels very, very nice, very slick. And the little charm on the zipper is our little owl crate logo. And let's see, on the inside, it's just a blank inside. So this will be good for, I think for me putting like my spare bookmarks and pens in, or pens in. Can't wait to use that. Up next, ooh, we have a very, ooh, large box. And on it, it says Red London, and it says Volume 1, and it is inspired by the Shades of Magic series by V.E. Schwab, which I absolutely adore. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. 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 Look at this. This is a um, metal book. And it says Magic and Madness. And as Traverts, which is the travel in. Oh. And there's stuff on the inside. Oh my goodness gracious. This is incredible. The last time we got um, book tins, the past two have been about this big. This is just about. Actually, this is about book size. So this is. So, so cool. I mean, I could just sit it right there and it would blend in with one of my books. Actually, one moment, tease. Well, there we go. I think it looks rather nice on the shelf. You can, it actually blends in very well. And it's going to be a cool secret to have on the shelf. So that is very cool. So one moment, tease, tea break. Alrighty then. So up next in our box... We have 
this month's pin inspired by our book for this month and it is a beautiful it looks like a solar eclipse and it actually kind of in, reminds me of the Grisha verse like the darkling oh but it is very cool I cannot wait to put it on my new pin banner which I have put some of my other owl crate pins on I'll accept um, this one which I feel is a little bit too large for it but I think this one will fit very nicely so now it is time for our book. Ooh, and this month's book is The Gilded Ones. Very cool. So let's see if there's any special details on our book. Ah, we also have our letter from the author for this month. And it's interesting because it's sideways. Normally it's this way. So another cool touch. So let's see what we have here. Ooh. I love opening a book for the first time. That wonderful crack. So let's see. Ooh. So we have some very unique foil art on the cover of the book. It is in a really bright shade of green. And let's see. It is also signed by the author, which I love about Owl Crate books. And let's see what it says about this book. 16 year 16 year old Dika Deka lives in a lives in fear and anticipation of the blood ceremony that will determine whether she becomes a member of her village already different from everyone else because of her unnatural intuition Deka prays for red blood so she can finally feel like she belongs but on the day of the ceremony her blood runs gold the color of impurity and she knows that she will face the consequence worse than death then a mysterious woman comes to her with a choice. Stay in the village and submit to her fate, or leave and fight the Empire in the army of girls just like her. They are called Alkai, Al Aliki, near immortals with rare gifts, and they are the ones, only ones, who can stop the Empire's greatest threat. Ooh. That sounds like it's going to be quite the adventure. Ooh, and it also has a gorgeous back. So lastly, in our box, we have our little pamphlet for this month, and it has interview with an author, Owl Crate edition um, cover and the regular cover. It looks like the Owl Crate has that really cool detailing in the back, which is very, very nice. We have some puzzles and suggestions for other books to read. We have a interview with the vendor who made the beautiful, beautiful um, Darker Shade Magic Tin, Instagram photo challenge, Spotify play with, playlist, and other rec book recommendations. And also in the bottom of our box, we have our spoiler card for next month, which is of Witches and Wonder. And if I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times, I love whoever illustrates the spoiler cards because they are incredibly detailed and really cool. And I actually like to um, display them on my bulletin board or around my room because they're just so unique and beautiful works of art. And it says that every March box will include an item designed by Talia Skies. How exciting. And... Of course, this is February's box being unboxed in March, so don't want to be confused. I'm unboxing February. This is a spoiler for March. Whew. Well, I have definitely enjoyed all the neat, fun items. I definitely know that I will be using the hairbrush quite a lot. Well, what can I say? Long hair. You always need a hairbrush everywhere. Well, everybody... I hope that you have enjoyed this video, and if you are interested in watching another video, go ahead and click right here. And if you are new, welcome to my channel, and go ahead and click right here so you never miss my videos again. And if you are interested in what tea I am drinking, it is Zest Tea Superberry Samba, and if you are interested in trying this out, I have a $10 off coupon down below. So, thank you so much for watching everybody, and I will see you all later. Bye!